Now, when I get back from the locksmith, do I need to show you how to put it back in there? I don't know, maybe I will. I just don't want to mess with this too much. Because I don't want to get it off. You know, you start, you start moving things around and then you might get mixed up as to how to put this back on. Lots of times it's pretty easy to do that, but other times this rod here might slip in a little groove in there and pop out and I think, oh no, now what? You know, it'll pop back in. Just, just be real careful with however your deadbolt looks so that you know that you can put it back in yourself. Just gonna look at that and kind of line that up. And if you see a little ring around where where it was on your door, you wanna you wanna cover that up. My pet peeve is to make sure that that key is facing straight up and down, not at a slight angle. I'm just gonna kind of hold everything here together. Hang on to that. Now I can tighten it up. Just make it snug, and then one little extra oomph. <clears throat> that. Check that, make sure it's running smooth. If it's not running smooth, you may have these screws too tight. Last thing you want is for that to be hanging up, because if you use your keys, you don't want the key to be binding or having to push this open um, if you got the screws too tight. Okay, so here's my new keys. Let's try this out. Voila. And I got three keys and I'm going to check them all. Before I hand out keys to anybody, I always check the keys. Last thing you want is, is to hand out a key to somebody and make the effort and then the next day they call and say their key doesn't work. Now you've got to meet with them again. So always check out your keys before handing them out. Well, I guess I'm done with that. Another project I can mark off my list.